Hi guys, on this video I'm going to show you how to create a deep cinematic drone sound with Patchop 2 using the brand new Spectral Oscillator in just one single sample. Keep watching, this is going to be very cool. So in order to create my cinematic drone, I'm going to use a custom sample that I recorded using my Reface DX. It sounds like this. So it's a very simple monophonic sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up Pad Shop 2 and I'm going to drop the sample into the sample area. So for this sound, I'm going to use the brand new Spectral Oscillator. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sample start and the sample end. Just to make sure that I'm not including these silences in my sample. So let's go like this and let's hear how it sounds. The great thing with the Spectral Oscillator is it allows you to play any sample at any speed, any position, in either direction and at any pitch. And it also allows for unlimited stretching, so I can play the sample at any octave. throughout the entire MIDI range. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the position control, learn CC and assign it to a CC controller on my MIDI controller right here. So let's see how this sounds. And now let's try and experiment with the speed control. So at 100% we have the original playback speed and I can increase the speed or decrease it and I can even freeze the playback. Let me show you. Let me increase the gain a little bit. So now let's freeze it. So just by freezing the speed, I can get so many different sounds just from one single sample. So in this case, I think I'm going to go for a speed of around... Let's say 44% because I want the sound, I want my drone to have a little bit of movement. So as you can tell, I can get a very deep sound straight away. Now the purity and the inharmonicity controls are really, really important when you're using the Spectral Oscillator. The purity can affect the brightness of the sound, let me show you. Or I can make the sound very clean. This gives me a very interesting texture right there, check out. It can make the sound very, very deep. The inharmonicity can change the timbre of the sound from clean to dissonant. So if I want to go cleaner... And now I can turn it up to make it more dissonant. So straight away I know I might want to be able to morph the sound on my drone in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my mod wheel control and drag and drop it to the purity control right there. So now my mod wheel controls the purity. So I'm going to go all the way down, pull the depth all the way up, and now I can morph the sound using my mod wheel. Now let's go and experiment a little bit with the number of voices. Let's try and increase the number of voices.
and let's try and spread them a little bit. Maybe I want to detune my voices a little bit. And use the pan spread to get a wider sound. Now, why don't we go and randomize the position as well? So that not even one note is similar to the other. And maybe I can also randomize the direction of the playback. Let's check this out. Let's use the mod wheel as well. You know what, maybe because this is a drone, I want to change the attack time, make it a little bit softer. So this sound is incredibly deep and powerful and we haven't even touched the effects. We haven't added reverb or anything like that. This is just the sound from the spectral oscillator, which is amazing. Now I'm going to add a little bit of movement to the sound by using the step modulator. We have a step modulator right here, so I can just draw in my values right there. And let's find an interesting parameter to play with. I'm going to go to the four-man shift. which creates some really interesting effects. And I'm going to assign the step modulator to my spectral formant shift. So let's go and add a little bit of depth there. And maybe I'd like to assign the aftertouch to the modifier. So let's try that. So let's try this now and also play with the mod wheel that changes the purity and see what we can get out of it. Right, now we have a very deep, a very evolving sound. So what I'm gonna do now is add the sprinkle on top. So to do this, I'm going to add just a touch of distortion. So I'm going to go to my clip distortion and just a little bit of it. Just a tiny touch. And then I'm going to go to my effects and I'm going to add a little bit of reverb. So now let's see what sound we created in just a few minutes using just the spectral oscillator.
So as you can see with Patch Up 2, you can literally create a cinematic drone sound in minutes using just one single sample and the new Spectral Oscillator. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Make some great sounds with Patch Up 2, and we'll see you on the next one.